First of all, there is a, a very vibrant, active and productive environment in terms of digital and technology um, industry in this country. There have been three pillars identified by the India presidencies as priorities, and I think all of the three are very relevant to the context of India. One is about emergency preparedness, another one is about digital health, and then the third one is access to medical countermeasures for all. This second meeting of the G20 for the health track here in Goa is discussing in particular digital health and we are learning the experience, the challenges, the new opportunities that will come from many countries. Um, of course, um, India is hosting and is also showing the way in many ways. Uh, I think the learnings we have seen are, are really, uh, first of all, there is a, a very vibrant, active and productive environment in terms of digital and technology um, industry in this country, uh, but also a, a vision and leadership from the government of India and the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare to bring digital health as um, an enabler to better achieve uh, good health outcomes for communities. And in that we have seen a lot of progress, especially driven by the needs, the pandemic. We all know we were locked, we couldn't access services, um, and, and therefore that has forced us and forced this country also uh, to develop quickly solutions of digital health that could help um, better serve its citizens. So the telemedicine is one example, uh, the use of data for surveillance is another example, the apps to register for immunization, another example. There has been a lot of tools developed, implemented at a very large scale and proven successful that India is now showing or putting at the table as part of this discussion and offering as its experience as a, an asset for all the G20 countries. There have been three pillars identified by the India presidencies as priorities, and I think all of the three are very relevant to the context of India. One is about emergency preparedness, another one is about digital health, and then the third one is access to medical countermeasures for all. Um, all of it uh, requires a strong primary health care system, and for us, I think this is a, a solid expectation in terms of uh, seeing a global architecture coming together uh, that can help all of us in case of future pandemics uh, in, in um, being better coordinated, more efficient, more rapid and effective and reduce, therefore, the toll of many uh, women, children and families for that matter.